There are two methods to make alkaline water. One, using an electrical water ionizer. Two, adding alkaline concentrate to regular water. The original method is the use of water ionizer invented in Japan for over 50 years ago. A water ionizer splits regular tap water into two streams of water, alkaline and acid, by an electrolysis method, separation method. The Japanese discovered that acid water was good for plants as well as for washing the body, like the hot spring water, which is acid. And alkaline water was good for drinking, for better health, like mountain spring water, which is alkaline. They didn't necessarily know why, but the Japanese doctors have used alkaline water made by the machines to treat patients with many different symptoms with positive results. Over 40 years ago, Japanese doctors published many papers reporting such positive medical results. Unfortunately, the papers are only in Japanese, Korean, and nobody translated. Water ionizers are now available in many parts of the world. The major drawback of a water ionizer is the fact that the pH value of the water depends heavily on the mineral contents of water supply. For example, if the if the tap water has no minerals, like pure water, ionizer cannot produce any alkaline water. They divide the alkaline minerals, acid and alkaline. So another drawback is water ionizer is big and bulky. You cannot carry them around. Recognizing this drawback, plus the fact that the most important thing that matters in the ionized water is a pH value, not the ORP or molecular size, cluster size, surface tension. I invented an alkaline concentrate called Alkalife. After adding four drops of Alkalife into 10 ounce glass of regular drinking water, the water instantly changes to alkaline water with a pH 10. In four drops of alkalife, there are approximately one billion trillion numbers of hydroxyl ions in there. That's what we are putting in the water. Alkalife is a high pH concentration of potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. These minerals are stronger than calcium and magnesium that are found in alkaline water made by an ionizer. Alkalife is a clear solution when added to drinking water. The color of the water does not change. Taste of the water does not change either. To show that the pH of the drinking water changes, let me demonstrate. This is regular bottled water you can buy anywhere in the supermarket. And I'm going to see if I can change the pH of this water. Original P in order to check the pH of the water, I have a liquid pH tester. When I looking at the color of this water, I can tell what pH of the water is. It's a light green, pH somewhere around uh, six, yellow green. And I'm going to add uh, this colorless, odorless alkalife. Usually I need four drops for a big cup, but just since this is a half cup, I'm going to only put two drops. And you can see the color changes to purple which is a pH 10. Now, 
for those people who don't believe that adding alkaline will make uh, pH uh, 10, here's the demonstration. Now, if you think this is the magic, let me blow my carbon dioxide from my lungs into this and see if I can change the alkaline water back to acid water. You can see the color chart and see how this color changes. Moral of the story is uh, we shouldn't drink highly acidic cola drinks, carbonated drinks. Our body is constantly trying to get rid of this breathing carbon dioxide out. Why do you want to put that back in your, in your body? Now, another demonstration is this is a club soda, nothing but water and the carbon dioxide, no calories, nothing. pH of this club soda is, uh, that, as a matter of fact, anything that bubbles is carbon dioxide. It's acid. Now, I'm going to add alkalife into this and to see what, what kind of change I can get it. Back to acid. Now, if I put alkaline into this water, the one I blew it, this one comes back to alkaline. Now, if I add all this alkaline water into this club soda, it comes back to acid. That's how strong number of carbon dioxide in here to make the water back to acid. <laughs>